Dr. Seuss Beginner Book Video. Comes Back by Dr. Seuss This was no time for play. This was no time for fun. This was no time for games. There was work to be done. All that deep, deep, deep snow, all that snow had to go. When our mother went down to the town for the day, she said, Somebody has to clean all this away. Somebody. Somebody has to, you see. Then she picked out two somebody, Sally and me. Well, there we were. We were working like that. And then who should come up but the cat in the hat. Uh-oh, Sally said. Don't you talk to that cat. That cat is a bad one, that cat in the hat. He plays lots of bad tricks. Don't you let him come near. You know what he did the last time he was here. Play tricks? Laughed the cat. Oh, my, my, no, no, no. I just want to go in to get out of the snow. Keep your mind on your work. You just stay there, you two. I will go in the house and find something to do. Then the cat went right in. He was up to no good. So I ran in after as fast as I could. Do you know where I found him? You know where he was? He was eating a cake in the tub. Yes, he was. The hot water was on and the cold water too. And I said to the cat, what a bad thing to do. But I like to eat cake in a tub. Left the cat. You should try it sometime. Left the cat as he sat. And then I got mad. This was no time for fun. I said, Cat, you get out. There is work to be done. I have no time for tricks. I must go back and dig. I can't have you in here eating cake like a pig. You get out of this house. We don't want you about. Then I shut off the water and let it run out. The water ran out, and then I saw the ring. A ring in the tub, and oh boy, what a thing. A big, long pink cat ring. It looked like pink ink. And I said, will this ever come off? I don't think. <laughs> Have no fear of that ring, laughed the cat in the hat. Why, I can take cat rings off tubs just like that. Did it with mother's white dress. Now the tub was all clean, but her dress was a mess. Then Sally looked in, Sally saw the dress too. And Sally and I did not know what to do. We should work in the snow, but that dress, what a spot! It may never come off, Sally said. It may not. But the cat laughed. Ho, ho. I can make the spot go. The way I take spots off a dress is just so. <laughs> See here? Left the cat. It is not hard at all. The thing that takes spots off a dress is a wall. Then we saw the cat wipe the spot off the dress. Now the dress was all clean, but the wall, what a mess! Oh, wall spots! He laughed. Let me tell you some news. To take spots off a wall, all I need is two shoes. Whose shoes did he use? I looked and saw whose. And I said to the cat, 
This is very bad news. Now the spot is all over Dad's ten dollar shoes. But your dad will not know about that, said the cat. He will never find out, laughed the cat in the hat. His ten dollar shoes will have no spots at all. I will rub them right off on this rug in the hall. But now we have rug spots, I yelled. What a day! Rug spots? What next? Can you take them away? Don't ask me, he laughed. Why, you know that I can. Then he picked up the rug, and away the cat ran. I can clean up these rug spots before you count three. No spots are too hard for a hat cat like me. He ran into Dad's bedroom, and then the cat said, "It is good that your dad has the right kind of bed." Then he shook the rug. Crack! Now the bed had the spot. And all I could say was, "Now what, cat? Now what?" But the cat just stood still. He just looked at the bed. This is not the right kind of a bed, the cat said. To take spots off this bed will be hard, said the cat. I can't do it alone, said the cat in the hat. It is good I have someone to help me, he said. Right here in my hat, on the top of my head, it is good that I have him here with me today. He helps me a lot. This is little cat A. And then little cat A took the hat off his head. It is good I have someone to help me, he said. This is little cat B, and I keep him about. And when I need help, then I let him come out. And then B said, "I think we need little cat C. That spot is too much for the A cat and me. But now have no fear." We will clean it away, the three of us, little cats B, C, and A. Come on, take it away! Yelled little cat A. I will hit that old spot with this broom. Do you see? It comes off the old bed. It goes on the TV. And then little cat B cleaned up the TV. He cleaned it with milk, put the spot in a pan, and then C blew it out of the house with a fan. But look where it went! I said, "Look where it blew." You blew the mess out of the house. That is true. But now you made snow spots. You can't let them stay. Let us think about that now," said C, B, and A. With some help, we can do it," said little cat C. Then pop on his head, we saw little cat D. Then pop, 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 little cat E, F, and G. We will clean up that snow if it takes us all day. If it takes us all night, we will clean it away," said little cat G, F, E, D, C, B, A. They ran out of the house then, and we ran out too. And the big cat laughed. Ha <laughs> ha! Now you will see something new. My cats are all clever. My cats are good shots. My cats have good guns. They will kill all those spots. But this did not look very clever to me. Kill snow spots with pop guns? That just could not be. All this does is make more spots. We yelled at the cat. Your cats are no good. Put them back in your hat. Take your little cats G F E D C B A. Put them back in your hat, and you take them away. Oh no! Said the cat. All they need is more help. Help is all that they need. So keep still and don't yelp. Then little cat G. Took the hat off his head. I have little cat H here to help us. He said, "Little cats H I J K L N M." But our work is so hard. We must have more than them. We need little cat N. We need O. We need P. 
We need little cats, Q, R, S, T, U, and V. Come on, kill those spots, kill the mess, yelled the cats. And they jumped at the snow with long rakes and red bats. They put it in pails and they made high pink hills. Pink snowmen, pink snowballs, and little pink pills. Oh, the things that they did, and they did them so hard. It was all one big spot now, all over the yard. But the big cat stood there, and he said, This is good. This is what they should do, and I knew that they would. With a little more help, all the work will be done. They need one more cat, and I know just the one. Look close. In my hand, I have little cat V. On his head are cats W, X, Y, and Z. Z is too small to see, so don't try. You cannot. But Z is the cat who will clean up that spot. Now here is the Z you can't see, said the cat. And I bet you can't guess what he has in his hat. He has something called Voom. Voom is so hard to get, you never saw anything like it, I bet. Why, Voom cleans up anything, clean as can be. Then he yelled, Take your hat off now, little cat Z. Take the Voom off your head. Make it clean up the snow. Hurry, you little cat. One, two, three, go! Then the Voom! It went voom, and oh boy, what a voom! Now don't ask me what voom is, I never will know. But boy, let me tell you, it does clean up snow. Ha <laughs> ha, so you see? Laughed the cat. Now your snow is all white. Now your work is all done. Now your house is all right. And you know where my little cats are? Said the cat. That voom blew my little cat's back in my hat. And so, if you ever have spots now and then, I will be very happy to come here again with little cats A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, and O, P, and Q, R, S, T, and cat U and cat V, and little cats W, X, Y, and Z. Fox in Socks by Dr. Seuss. Fox, socks, box, knocks. Knocks in box. Fox in socks. Knocks on fox in socks in box. Socks on knocks and knocks in box. Fox in socks, on box on knocks. Chicks with bricks come, chicks with blocks come, chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. Look, sir, look, sir, Mr. Knox, sir. Let's do tricks with bricks and blocks, sir. Let's do tricks with chicks and clocks, sir. First, I'll make a quick trick brick stack. Then, I'll make a quick trick block stack. You can make a quick trick chick stack. You can make a quick trick clock stack. And here's a new trick, Mr. Knox. Socks on chicks and chicks on fox. Fox on clocks on bricks and blocks. Bricks and blocks on knocks on box. Now we come to ticks and tocks, sir. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, sir. Clocks on fox tick. Clocks on knocks tock. Six sick bricks tick. Six sick chicks tuck. 
please, sir. I don't like this trick, sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick, sir. I get all those ticks and clocks, sir, mixed up with the chicks and tocks, sir. I can't do it, Mr. Fox, sir. I'm so sorry, Mr. Knox, sir. Here's an easy game to play. Here's an easy thing to say. New socks, two socks. Whose socks? Sue's socks. Who sews whose socks? Sue sews Sue's socks. Who sees who sew whose new socks, sir? You see Sue sew Sue's new socks, sir. That's not easy, Mr. Fox, sir. Who comes? Crow comes. Slow Joe Crow comes. Who sews Crow's clothes? Sue sews Crow's clothes. Slow Joe Crow sews whose clothes? Sue's clothes. Sue sews socks of Fox in socks now. Slow Joe Crow sews Knox in box now. Sue sews rose on Slow Joe Crow's clothes. Fox sews hose on Slow Joe Crow's nose. Hose goes, rose grows. Nose hose goes some, Crow's rose grows some. Mr. Fox, I hate this game, sir. This game makes my tongue quite lame, sir. Mr. Knox, sir, what a shame, sir. We'll find something new to do now. Here is lots of new blue goo now. New goo, blue goo. Gooey, gooey. Blue goo, new goo. Gluey, gluey. Gooey goo for chewy chewing. That's what that goo goose is doing. Do you choose to chew goo too, sir? If, sir, you, sir, choose to chew, sir, with the goo goose, chew, sir, do, sir. Mr. Fox, sir, I won't do it. I can't say it. I won't chew it. Very well, sir. Step this way. We'll find another game to play. Bim comes. Ben comes. Bim brings Ben broom. Ben brings Bim broom. Ben bends Bim's broom. Bim bends Ben's broom. Bim's bends, Ben's bends. Ben's bent broom breaks. Bim's bent broom breaks. Ben's band. Bim's band. Big bands. Pig bands. Bim and Ben lead bands with brooms. Ben's band bangs and Bim's band booms. Pig band, boom band, big band, broom band. My poor mouth can't say that, no sir. My poor mouth is much too slow, sir. Well then, bring your mouth this way. I'll find it something it can say. Luke Luck likes lakes. Luke's duck likes lakes. Luke Luck licks lakes. Luke's duck licks lakes. Duck takes licks in lakes Luke Luck likes. Luke Luck takes licks in lakes Duck likes. I can't blab such blibber blubber. My tongue isn't made of rubber. Mr. Knox, now come now, come now. You don't have to be so dumb now. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, please. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew. 
While these fleas flew, Freezy Breeze blew. Freezy Breeze made these three trees freeze. Freezy Trees made these trees cheese freeze. That's what made these three free fleas sneeze. Stop it! Stop it! That's enough, sir. I can't say such silly stuff, sir. Very well then, Mr. Knox, sir. Let's have a little talk about Tweetle Beetles. What do you know about Tweetle Beetles? Well, when Tweetle Beetles fight, it's called a Tweetle Beetle battle. And when they battle in a puddle, it's a Tweetle Beetle puddle battle. And when Tweetle Beetles battle with paddles in a puddle, they call it a Tweetle Beetle puddle paddle battle. And when beetles battle beetles in a puddle paddle battle, and the beetle battle puddle is a puddle in a bottle, they call this a Tweetle Beetle Bottle Puddle Paddle Battle Muddle. And when beetles fight these battles in a bottle with their paddles and the bottles on a poodle and the poodles eating noodles, they call this a Muddle Puddle Tweetle Poodle Beetle Noodle Bottle Paddle Battle. And... Now wait a minute, Mr. Sox Fox. When a fox is in the bottle where the Tweedle Beetles battle with their paddles in a puddle on a noodle eating poodle, this is what they call a Tweedle Beetle Noodle Poodle Bottle Paddle Muddle Duddle Fuddle Wuddle Fox in Socks, sir. Fox in Socks, our game is done, sir. Thank you for a lot of fun, sir. There's a Locket in My Pocket by Dr. Seuss. Did you ever have the feeling there's a wasket in your basket? Or a euro in your bureau? Or a wasset in your closet? Sometimes I feel quite certain there's a jerton in the curtain. Sometimes I have the feeling there's a zlock behind the clock. And that zelf up on that shelf, I have talked to him myself. That's the kind of house I live in. There's a nink in the sink. And a zamp in the lamp. And they're rather nice, I think. Some of them are very friendly. Like the yacht in the pot. But that yachtle in the bottle some are friendly, some are not. I like the zable on the table. And the gear under the chair. But that bofa on the sofa. Well, I wish he wasn't there. All those nubbards in the cupboards. They're good fun to have about. But that new thrush on my toothbrush, him I could do without. The only one I'm really scared of is that bug under the rug. And that quimney up the chimney. I don't like him, not at all. And it makes me sort of nervous when the Zoll scoots down the hall. But the yeps on the steps, they're great fun to have around. And so are many, many other friends that I have found. Like 
the teller, and the neller, and the geller, and the deller, and the beller, and the weller, and the zeller, and the seller, and the geeling, on the ceiling. And the zower in my shower, and the zillow on my pillow. I don't care if you believe it. That's the kind of house I live in.